percentiles and quartiles in python what are percentiles percentile rank are commonly used to clarify the interpretation of score uh, on a standard scale of 100 what does it mean we will try to understand with a basic example imagine there are 1000 student in a class and we will consider one student they have taken an exam and one student out of 1000 scored 68 percent marks can we say he has performed good or not not necessarily because we will need to find a relative scale out of 1000 student and we have to compare that person's rank over out of 1000 people so to do so if we uh, if we try to fit it on the scale imagine this guy stood on 90 uh, 910th position what what does this mean the student on 910th position what does this mean this means that there are 910 students who got less than 68 percent marks only 89 students got more marks than this guy so out of 1000 only 89 students are above him so he is standing at 91 percentile so instead of just uh, stating 68 percent marks 91 percent gives percentile gives us a good idea on his performance so percentile makes the data distribution easy to read then the next concept comes in the pth percentile what pth percentile is pth percentile means the that p percent observation are below that pth percentile imagine there one guy got 40 marks but his percentile value is 80 meaning that 80 percent people are below him so this kind of scale is used in competitive exam for cat exam if somebody says he got 80 percentile in cat meaning that there are 20 percent people who are above him and 80 percent people have lower marks than this particular guy this example can be uh, put into a uh, very uh, high scale numbers also so it will give us everything would be on a hundred scale of hundred and it will give us a basic idea about how the stretch of or the distribution is working in that uh, sample next concept comes in the quartiles uh, percentiles can be divided percentile is a uh, uh, dividing in hundred groups but we can find two or four basic groups and we can call them percentiles so till pth percentile is 25 we can call it the first quartile if the p value is 50 we can call it second quartile or the median value and anything below 75 percentile would be in the third quartile or the upper quartile now percentile and quartile in python so we have understood percentiles and quartiles there is one more term called quantile which is like here quantile quantile and percentile are similar Percentiles are given uh, 100 parts of uh, can be divided into 100 parts but the quantile values are 10 values we can say like 0, 10, 20, 30 like this. So if we want to find the quantile we can use dot quantile or for percentile we also can use quantile function but the basic function describe which is equivalent to the summary function from R gives a basic for quantile. How it works in Python we will try to see now. So I will clear this up. Okay, so I have imported the income data set, and if I have to see the uh, quartile, like first quartile, um, second quartile, and the third quartile, I will use dot describe function. I am redirecting myself to the income data set and the column which is capital game I have redirected to, and using the describe function will give me the basic summary of the function. And here we can see that. 25 at till 25 fifth percentile the value is 0 till 50th percentile or mean median value is also 0 and the at the 75 or the upper quartile value is also 0 and the maximum value is 9999 meaning the last 25 percent values are stretched in a in the upper quartile direction so if we we want a bigger picture on this capital gain we can right now we have only parted in three parts if we want a clearer picture we can just find the quartile uh, which would be uh, 10 stages of distribution uh, to be shown we will see the quantile distribution we have interpreted it to the quantile distribution we can see that till 90% values are below 0 
only last 10 percent values fall in this uh, 99,999 so if we try to find the quantile distribution of another column capital lost we can again use the quantile and in the parentheses we can pass the uh, list of the quantile values which is 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 0 will give us the 0 percentile, 10, uh, point 0.1 will give us the 10th percentile, point 0.2 will give us 20th percentile and so on. So for capital gain, we capital loss also we see that the values, 90% values are below 0 and only last 10% values are accumulating uh, 43,566 value. We can also use it on hours per week, another column in here and when we use this column we can see that there are some people who are working 99 hour per week also but there is a regular distribution of number like 0 percent is people below 0 are working and uh, there are working for 1 hour per week 10 percent is people are working for 24 hour per week there are 50 percent people who are working at 40 per uh, hour per week so from 30 to uh, 30th percentile to 70th percentile we can see that there is a majority of people who which is around 50% uh, around people are working around 40 hours a week this is how we can try to interpret the data using quantile distribution next is a lab for you you can use the bank marketing data and for the various column you can try to find the percentile and quant quartile distribution Next we will get into the concept of box plots. What box plots are? Well, box plots are graphically depicts the numerical data through quartiles. Quartiles meaning upper, lower and uh, middle quartile which help us finding the underlying outliers and how it works we will see. So how a box plot look like? What box plot looks like is uh, this image. It gives us the minimum value, the maximum value and from the first quartile to the third quartile it shows all the value in a box it helps us get an idea what uh, what kind of data distribution we have so if we see this box or the side of the box or the notch of a block box stretched in any one direction we can just try to see that okay in this direction there are some particular outliers so in this diagram we can try to understand like for here if we see that minimum value is 5 the first quantile 25 percent is values are below 10 and 75 percent values are below 15 so from 75 percentile to 100 percentile from values are distributed from 15 to 120 meaning last 25 or the upper 25 percentile distribution is stretching from 15 to 120 which is giving us an idea that definitely there are some outliers so sometimes if you draw a box plot what you will see that you will not be able to see a box you will see a straight line what's happening over here is all the values from 25th percentile to 75th percentiles are cramped in such a way that the box has been narrowed down to a straight line the width of this box is very small that's why you see a straight line which means that there is a great possibility of a lot of outliers from this image we can see that this point which is standing out is a clearly an outlier if we try to remove this we will see a box plot appearing because we have uh, cleared out the distribution a little bit so how to draw the box plot in python and how to find the outliers so we will import the bank data set and once we have imported the bank data set we to draw our plot we need to import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt this will allow us to draw any plots and plt is the nickname i have given to the function matplotlib dot pi plot so i will run this i will import the matplotlib and to once we wa i want to plot a box plot for bank dot balance balance is the variable for which i want to plot a box plot if I plot it here you can see that the blue line that you see is the actual box from 25th percentile to the 75th percentile we can see that 50% of value which are 
between 25th percentile or 70 till 75 percentile or in other words lower quartile to the upper quartile are cramped in this blue or uh, pink mark so we can de definitely see that the upper quartile value uh, contains a lot of outliers and we can again use the percentile and quartile distribution to find out what those values are and we can get another idea where this uh, this outlier is lying next is a lab for you you can import the bank marketing data set and for different variables you can draw box plots and try to understand if there are any outliers or 